All right, we are back at the pig paddock here in the forest. So, yesterday I went ahead and I moved their paddock slightly. There's an area where it was before that it's still overlapped with where it is now, but I moved it, I opened them onto some new forest paddock um, yesterday because I thought that part of the area that they were on was starting to get tilled up and rooted up um, you know, I, I, as much as I wanted. I wouldn't say it got overdone, but um, I didn't want it to get too overcooked. Um, but anyway, I want to show a few interesting things and kind of reveal my sort of for now tentative conclusion about how long to leave pigs on a section of ground. So for one, um, uh, this little area that's in the foreground, that area was in their previous paddock. You can see where the rocks and stuff are here. So that, and it basically just moved it back further into the forest that you can see in the distance. But if we look closely at this area, let's get around here. You can see it's starting to get kind of pugged up here. You can see it's getting, and uh, you know, if we get a lot of rain, this really turns into mud. And this whole area here, it's getting really tilled up quite a bit. You can see that it's just, uh, rooted up so they've done a great job it looks good to me and i'm thinking all right it's about time to move them. Uh, so anyway this is the area that seems to be the most heavily impacted and uh thanks to them it's going to be a lot easier to get this old section of chain link out of here now this was all stuck in the brambles and stuff but they've kind of rooted all around it <clears throat> but one thing i wanted to note that was really interesting i noticed yesterday when I was moving them. One, you can see a real straight line through there where the old fence was. On the right here, the pigs were not. On the left, they were. I noticed that down here in this corner of the old paddock, they hadn't rooted up hardly at all. Like, it looked almost untouched. Like, if you look left and right there, it's about the same. But if we zoom in, what you can see is... See that right there? That's pig poop. So this is their toilet. So sometime when they were first uh, put in here, they said, okay guys, down there, that's the toilet, that's where we poop. Um, don't root up down there, we're not gonna eat down there, that's our toilet. Pigs are quite neat, they don't just poop anywhere and everywhere. If they have enough space, they will designate a place to poop. And that'll be their toilet. And they keep that, you know, away from where they're normally rooting around and eating and doing the rest of their pig activities during the day. So anyway, I thought that was really cool. But this kind of like, if you look over here, it's all rooted up and torn up where they've been wallowing around and eating and doing all kinds of pig stuff. And then over here, that's just where they pooped. <clears throat> so anyway, I'll show you what I did for the new paddock. I think that, I haven't measured it, but I think it's about the same size. I think approximately 2,000 square feet, give or take. Um, but I just kind of, kept them on this section here which is not super torn up there's plenty of brush and stuff that they can still root around and then I just extended it down into some new area of forest down here and I extended it further up this way so that they have space to to play and root up here so anyway and um, this is uh we are just about right now exactly at a month after they first went in here. The last video I did a few days ago, that was the four week mark. We're about three days, four days after that right now. And um, so I'm gonna go with my rule of thumb here that <clears throat> just for now, <laughs> you know, until something contradicts me later, I'm gonna say that um, if you got about three pigs and about 2,000 square feet of forest paddock, a good amount of time for them to be there is about a month um, before things start to get too torn up. And of course it's going to vary depending on your space and your soil and the weather and the season and all that kind of stuff and the type of pigs you have and everything. But, you know, if the question is, okay, I got three pigs, 2,000 square feet, should I leave them there three days? Should I leave them there three months? And the answer is three days, you can leave them longer than that, three months, that's probably too long, and one month might be about right, just in case you were looking for a rough estimate. So anyway, pretty interesting little experiment here, and we will keep tabs with the guys, and probably the next exciting thing 
will be, um, I kept the edge of their paddock up there close enough to our little training pen area as I got three more barrow piglets that I'm gonna train to the electric tape. And once I get them trained, I'm gonna let them in here and we will then have two generations of barrows living together, six of them total. And uh, yeah, and we'll continue our experiment. Anyway, hope you're enjoying the uh, fall weather. Pigs sure are.